Good rainy Monday morning. Yeah, good rainy Monday morning. This is uh, that's a good day to knock out a few shop projects. Yes, it is. All right, guys, Mike from the future here. Real quick, just want to jump in and kind of give you a disclaimer and an explanation. I normally film with the old trusty GoPro 8 with the media mod here, but on this particular video I'm editing, I filmed with the DJI Action 3. And I really like the functionality of the camera. The batteries last longer, and uh, it don't glitch out on me, but the audio and the video in this uh, particular video I don't think is up to the normal standard so if you guys see something a little bit off that's what it is maybe it's just me comment down below let me know but I just want to kind of explain what's going on on this particular video okay now into the real video let's do this all right what is today is today Monday today is Monday yeah we had a good run of some pretty dry weather there we got a lot of yeah. stuff knocked out yeah, but it, it has uh, rained most of the weekend and they're calling for more rain this afternoon so I say we stay on this side of the door, yeah. <laughs> not that side of the door. That's, yeah. that's my goal for today. But all right, so we got a couple of different random things we need to get fixed. Uh, one, this is our two foot bucket we use on the 120 for field tile. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we got a little issue down here. It's, uh, we're gonna call that delamination. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna get that beat back on down there. This is also the bucket. I was looking back and the video we made of redoing all this is yeah. one of the videos my computer ate. Yeah. It don't exist. So, so this video never got published. Uh, got recorded and never got published. Ah, oh, man. So all your fancy work right here. Yeah. I, I bought this bucket randomly off eBay because it was two foot and it had the thing already welded on there, which is nothing special. We could have done that to any bucket. But Aaron and I had to redo the pin spacing. We basically cut this ear off and just slid it back, if you remember right. Mm -hmm. Welded it back on. So in the process of doing that, we left this corner sticking out here and my thumb on the 120 hits this corner and won't close all the way up against this bucket. So I'm saying we just go ahead and cut it off right there. Yeah. I don't think it's really going to... Matter. Really matter, I but I took uh, a picture of it. You got a picture of it? Yeah, I should have a picture. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, there you go. So that's kind of what we're hitting. That's what needs to be rectified. Yep. Which, which you guys can't see in that picture because that other bucket's in the way. But the tip of my thumb only misses the bucket by about six inches. So if we so gain like two inches there, we're gonna gain enough. To, we're gonna gain enough to close it up. Yep. So, uh, my question is, do you want to go ahead and fix your screw up while we're at it? My screw up? Yeah. What was my screw up? Your broken welds. I seen them broken welds. I don't think them were mine. They were yours. Really? <laughs> Man, I was like, you know what? It must have been wrong material or something. Wrong material. That's what you're going to go with? Wet 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 rods. <laughs> yeah, I'm I think going something. Big, I think you big welded that. Okay. The back ones have held. It's hard yeah. going. Because this one here was the one you were trying to get in the weld from the inside. Looks like that one may have held. Nope, it broke too. Mm. You're in a world of hurts. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is. That looks well. like something. Uh, I did not what? do that. Uh, that must have been like after I left and you wanted to try. I, I think, don't that's, think a, that's the way that went down. Oh, there ain't no way I would maybe weld it right there, but the rest of that, there ain't no way I welded that. I think this was. Uh, what well, QC pass that well? Well done. <laughs> <laughs> hey. All that being said, it's worked for the last two years. This bucket has been super handy. Yeah. Uh, for what it is. It don't get used a whole lot, but it's really handy when we need it. So, And we got some things in the works for uh, some new towing ropes, and uh, which will come in handy for that. So, All right. We got the bucket to fix. We got some, <laughs> we got some brake issues on the old Polaris. We you got were some... driving when that happened, not me. <laughs> we were flying brake pads down. landed on the field. Where'd they come from? <laughs> we were flying down a hill. I hit the brakes and something went ka -chink. We looked over and a brake pad literally passed us. <laughs> That's never good. Oh, no never good. Uh, we got some universal work, universal joints. Oh, we're going to redo the hitch on the uh, oh, yeah. straw blower trailer. Yeah. Um, what else are we doing? I need to change all my red truck, but that's yeah. been for the last three months. Yeah. yeah. 
That's brand new, ain't gonna hurt it. <laughs> see, see how long the rain delay lasts. All right, what do you wanna do first? You wanna set this up on the table so you yeah, can get see. to it to weld it? Yep. All right. Your table with wheels have proved to be pretty handy. Yes, yes they have. So is the can crusher. <laughs> yes, it has came in really handy. No, nope, I think you're good. I wonder if uh, I wonder if this thing didn't get used enough it wore off that bottom weld right there, and that's what allowed it to get up underneath it. Ah, yeah, there ain't no weld. There ain't no weld left on any of them. That one's got a little bit of weld yet. Yeah. We may need to redo all of them. Yeah. All right, while you're getting that cleaned up, I'm gonna get the uh, side by side fire wash. We get it in here. Yep, sounds good. This little guy right here is Jenna's generic draft pressure washer off Amazon, like 200 bucks. It ain't much, but it comes in handy for small stuff like this up here at the shop. I first got it. I kind of thought, what am I gonna do with that little Fisher Price piece of crap? But I have to admit, it has uh, come in pretty handy. Let me get this uh, cleaned up enough to get her in the shop. We'll tear into it and see what we got going on. Well, she's a little cleaner. We can see the. Uh, See the motor again. In we go. Watch out, Poochie. You take the seat off, it's like a low rider. <laughs> what's the uh, what's the verdict there, Master Welder? Well, the verdict is my good hood, the one that's like 4K, well, it's in my truck. My truck ain't here, so breaking out old faithful here. It's a good thing we don't need anything to be precision and perfect, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I think you'll you'll make you'll wear these well to make it look good. <laughs> this thing's got some uh, got some miles on it for sure. I don't think we put most of them on there either. All right, what's uh, you just gonna take your macho hand there and squeeze that on down? Yeah, yeah, we don't want video of that, but yeah, you, that's what I'm planning on doing. And then while I hold it, I'll have you tack it for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know you can't get it, but I can. You know what? We got this little guy right here. I think it's uh, intended purpose in life's like replacing ball joints or something. Yeah. But it comes in handy for <laughs> random stuff like bucket repairs. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do you think? The outside one first and then the inside one? Yep. All right, let's try it. I'm kind of like tick tock in my head now, like what could, go, what could go wrong? Oh no, it all went wrong. <laughs> you ready? Yep. I'm gonna put safety glasses on while you do this. <laughs> Here all we right. go. going? Oh yeah. I feel like we're going at an angle all of a sudden. Should we like clamp it and then re-bite yeah. maybe? Yeah, let's do that. I feel like we're like seconds away from this something time. becoming a projectile. I'll put my safety glass on. All right, what uh... Big. Big, huh? Big. about this one? Back to you, you ready? Yep. You going? It's going. What do you think? The front's hitting. Um, go just a hair more. Hair more, he says. It's going. You know, like where it's going. You want to tack the front and then we'll move the clamp to the back? Yeah, let me try to get a 
tack on it real quick. It's bent just a hair. Eyeball. So do you think it may be back here now? We can get it on there, yeah. We got a lot of pushing to do right there. I shoot gap. Wow. It's smiling, it's smiling at you. Yeah, it is. I wonder if we should pull right there next. I think so. Let's try to get that out. All right. That's a lot more than I thought it would be. <laughs> you really did some damage to this thing. I think it was that one tree I got really mad at. <laughs> Took some pretty serious beating and banging, but we got that thing and went back in shape pretty good. So we're gonna turn there and loose, let him get that all welded out. I think what has happened, somebody welded that all pretty good, but these teeth kind of move a little bit, which puts a little bit of extra pressure on those welds. But down here on the end, it's been used so much, it was just wore through the weld. This is kind of a hodgepodge setup, but we don't want to use this bucket, it works. Uh, Works pretty good. So we're gonna let Aaron finish welding that out. Next thing on our list is we're going to pull this PTO shaft out. As you guys can tell, the end of this PTO is not in the best shape. We've been using a bolt for our safety, and uh, this universal. Which one is it? Universal over here is uh, pretty much just flat out of it. So I think what I'm gonna do, we're gonna pull this whole thing off. And uh, see if we maybe can't match a new one up in town. It's also got the safety sleeve on it. If not, we'll have to make a few repairs with this one. And uh, keep her going. Well, let's see how easy this thing wants to come off here. <laughs> well, that set screw's not very tight. So I got the only one. Here's what I'm thinking. Words of wisdom from Dirt Perfect this morning. Okay. They missed the absolute bomb scene we just had, by the Holy way. Holy cow, yeah. <laughs> uh. Somebody left well, their windows down. You said, boy, it's getting dark. You didn't say it was raining. You said, boy, it's getting dark. And I thought about it after I started back in on this, and I was like, oh no, the window, and I was going to get it, but you did I've get it for I took me, care so of you, thank so. you. All right, so I'm looking this thing over. I'm pretty sure somebody's modified this already. And that's not my weld either. That's not your weld, and uh, we're missing our keeper. I'm thinking we just take this thing down to the uh, farm store and see if we can come up with a whole new giddy up. What do you think? I think so. I like that. If not, we'll buy Spending some, your money, I love it. If not, we'll buy some more pieces and try to put it together again. <laughs> yeah. All right. How's this turning out? That looks uh, way better. Yeah. So all the ends are welded down, ground in and welded. Perfect. Just don't touch them. Got everything smoothed back out. So you put a little weld on the bottom too, so that should be. Yeah. All the all these got the bottom on the weld. Oh got yeah. The bottom I ground into them, and then got this one and that one. Uh, they didn't look good yet, so I left them alone. Uh, this side over here. I oh, did. there's the old phone again. Yep. This side here, I did grind it out and reweld this side. 
Oh yeah. So we should so, be good. To, yeah. We should be good to go for a while. So only thing we got left doing is bucket, is uh, cut them ears off, cut right? Them ears. Yeah. And that that project will at least be done. Hey, got one project knocked out. Yeah. You're doing better than me. I keep finding <laughs> more stuff wrong. So basically, I'll go. Just straight line from here to here? Kinda, yeah. Thinking uh maybe come off that weld a little bit though. Right there? Yeah. Kind of right there? Yeah. Alright. There you go. You can't say the line's not straight. Look at that. Line is pretty straight. It'll be okay. I wish they could smell all the argon you're wasting right now. Settling. Or settling. Yeah. <laughs> I had you thinking though, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, this ain't gonna work. I, I said that, I thought that don't sound right. <laughs> oh, you wanna come down this little bit, I don't wanna burn that crap up. Get it out of the way. Oh man, you got my table on, buddy. I wanted to play Bob Bucket, you said no, it's fine. So I'll have to close. You're going to get a good inspection of your weld right there. Yeah, I know it. Perfect. They just gotta make the other side look like it. I don't care what the internet says. You did good work. All right. Man, my disease. We have arrived back from town. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to give them a rundown of our PTO shopping experience? Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. That, that's all I can say. Two farm stores. Back. And forth. We went back and forth between two farm stores four different times trying to piece this thing together. Apparently we got a unicorn, which uh, we have determined while we were gone. We're pretty sure somebody has welded a socket onto that. And then this thing is not phased at all, which is probably why the U-joints went out. See how that cap over there straight up? This one's turned. And then this is some oddball <laughs> crazy size. And you got like, what is it? One series, two series, three series, four series, five, five series, series, six series, the bigger the series. We got a 14 series, which is some random <laughs> British American Volvo, Japanese Hitachi something. Kubota? Kubota. <laughs> yeah, we got Kubota. <laughs> but we found, so hear, hear me out. We found one random 14 series PTO, but it's got an inch and three eighths thing. So the hope is we're gonna take this yoke off Put it on here, and voila! We're done. It's gonna it's work. Good. <laughs> That's the plan. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt this and see what happens. And I'm gonna fix your cracks you left. You're gonna weld for last crack. All right. It has been a stressful afternoon of shopping. I'm gonna leave it at that.
Got it. The new one is on. Cover's back on. We'll put that on the shelf. We may need it one day. Install it. All right, guys, that's all on. Looks pretty good. It's gonna work just fine. I'm gonna jump over and uh, let me get the front. Let me get the front of this side by side tore down. See what's going on there. That way we can get. He's awful loud over there. That way, if we need to get parts ordered, we can. I got a few parts in stock for it, but let's uh, let's tear the tire off of it. And see how bad the damage is. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's not looking good at all. All right, guys, what I think we have here is another classic wheel bearing failure on the old Polaris Ranger. I hate, I hate to complain about this thing. I bought, I bought this new in 2011. We've got almost 20,000 miles on it, and the only issue I've really had with it over the years is these uh, wheel bearings. I haven't even changed the drive belt on this thing. It's been it has been a rock star. I am not sponsored by Polaris or have any affiliation with them whatsoever. But this is definitely being a good one. So let's uh, get that caliper off there. See what kind of shape it's in. We'll uh, get the wheel bearing out of there and see what parts we need. <laughs> I think this one might require a new caliper. Got one there, don't you? Yeah, I've got one right on the shelf. That's good. I've got to have that here in a day or two. <laughs> good morning, man, behind the scenes. We have, we have bled over into another day. Yes, we have. All right. So, we got this torn down yesterday afternoon. We got parts ordered for it. Hopefully, they'll be in sometime soon. So, while we're waiting on parts, we're going to go back on to this project. And this project is that hitch we built for the tile cart yep. has worked absolutely awesome. So and one of the most inconvenient things about pulling this trailer with them little tractors is it's got a ball hitch on it instead of a pin hitch. So I think what we need to do is build the same hitch for this we built for tile car. Tile car. So we can pull it with the truck or the tractor and not have to worry about finding the ball every time. But we used to take our drive shaft and fit it into here. But now that we've got the proper safety things in place that don't fit no more. So I think first things first, we need to find a way to store our drive shaft. Yeah. I say we keep it simple. Yeah. I think we got a little piece of chain. We'll weld it right here, loop it around, put the hook over here. Voila, it's out of our way. Sounds like a plan to me. You ready? Yes, I am. All right. I'm, well, I'm getting set up. If you're ready, look, look, look. Oh, you got your chain. You got my chain. Weld it. Oh, I gotta clean it up first. Oh, That's so right. you're not ready. Yeah. Right, no, okay. <laughs> All right. Now you're ready. Now I'm ready. I'm gonna clean that up for me. Yeah, nice clean. Clean everything else up for you. Want me to weld it too? Yeah. Get a little hot. That's a B. Why? Uh, all plays the tack. I'm sorry, I had to do it right there. <laughs> you got all this. Is... <laughs> Your finger was right there. Oh. It just felt right. <laughs> all right, go. All right. <laughs> oh. Ground on. <laughs> what you get? <coughs> Thank you. 
can't tack my finger on this one. <laughs> You want to see if our system works before we run it off, or are you confident? I am confident. All right. Yeah. Well, we're out. We'll try it. All right. Glove got in the way. Perfect. There you go. I said we uh, cut that excess chain off right there, and then I don't think that chain's going to, uh, I don't think it'll dangle low enough to get caught in anything, so. Uh, yep. Take two links or one link? I'd say two links, that way it's easier to grab a hold of. Yeah, right there. I like it. Just misses getting into those belts. Yeah, put her back up. I like it. That'll work. All right, on the hitch. All right, Aaron's gonna go ahead and cut that hitch off right there. That thing's actually in pretty bad shape anyway. I would not trust it to go down the road. But we're gonna have to make sure we maintain that distance away so our drive shaft still works. So. It's a pretty thin piece of metal, ain't it? Yeah, it is. It's kind of scary, actually. Oh, it's got a bottom on it. Yeah. Makes you feel a little better, doesn't it? Makes you feel a little better. <laughs> All right. Let's see what pieces and parts I can round up to make this work. All right, man, behind the scenes. Here's what I'm thinking. This is going to be our spacer block. We're going to have cap to go on the bottom. We got two ears made for our truck hitch. Yep. Our tra tractor hitch and a cap to go on the top, and then we got this to go on there. Yes. And then we'll weld that where you cut that off on the thing even Bob a jig. Yep. You like it? I love it. Well, let's weld it out. All right. We painting this one yellow? <laughs> no. <laughs> You know the bad part about having this camera running while you're welding? Show's time. I know exactly how long it takes you to weld that up. But if that camera don't lie, I wasn't messing around. Real time, that was 22 minutes. I think old age it is, so I'm slowing <laughs> down a little bit. You've got quite the masterpiece there, bud. Yeah, there was a lot of welding. You, uh, you forgot to weld your chain off, though. Oh, no, I gotta, yeah, we gotta get that yet. Now well, it's gonna be 23 minutes. I hope that chain's too short. It's not too short. <laughs> I know how you are. I'm going to hold it with uh, this. Oh, no. 
Why? I'm done scared? Learned, I done learned my lesson once today. You like it there? I guess. Eyeballs. Will it come out of there? Check it real quick. Oh. oh, look at that. Comes out and it don't drag the ground. That is, that is cleaving proof right there. Yes, it is. Oh, you got a chain link messed up. No, there. you welded it too tight. No, you got this chain link here. See, like that. There we go. You welded it too tight. No, it is perfect. You had that chain link underneath. I straightened it out. Now it looks good. Just weld it. <laughs> we might have to go put a heavy duty jack on this thing after we get done welding that thing on the road. <laughs> We're gonna triple yeah. our triple our tongue weight with this contraption. Alright. I think I'm gonna need both hands for this. And it is your job to put that exactly where it needs to be. I'm thinking the top flood. Oh that's hot. Yeah, that's hot. Uh, I'll get a tack on the top and then we'll Yeah, I'll work twist it. Are we centered left or right? Uh, I think we're pretty close. Alright, tag it. I'll tag it and we'll see what we got. You got the tape measure. luck or are we good? We're good. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was going to go with luck on that one. No, that's, that's pure, pure thinking through it, you know. Yeah. All right. So now everything, everything's ready to be welded out, right? I think so. We got to weld our safety chains back on to complete it, but I think. Okay. I think that'll work. I mean, the only other concern we have is that PTO, but the way that all works. Oh, that's not sticking up any higher than what was there before. No. We should be good. Be good. All right. All right. Be much more convenient. All right. While you're welding that out, I got an airplane over here. We always stand down this hole right here to load this bale chopper. I think this was originally, I didn't actually build this trailer from scratch. I think originally they thought you'd stand behind it. But we always end up sticking our straw back here. And uh, I'm not making fun of Aaron, but his vertical challengeness. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'll have to admit, even for me, it's a little bit tall to get in there. So I think what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take a piece of grating and basically make a nice little step platform right here to uh, stand safely and be able to get in there to load everything safely. So got uh, bars gonna go across here like so. This will be the leg that it goes down. And then we'll uh, pack that all off. So let me uh, finish getting those pieces made. We'll get that up there and I'll show you what it looks like. Hey, behind the scenes? Yep. I think that's going to work pretty good. What do you think? I think so. You going to give her a test run real quick? Well, I got a good meat here. Oh, yes. I, like, I can see down in it now. There's like these blades in there. <laughs> <laughs> Need hot work so you can look in there and see it. I think that's going to be uh, a nice little improvement to the whole operation there for sure. So, oh yeah, the uh, last guy that borrowed this put eight inch pipe on. I'm not sure that's on there. We got to get our six inch pipe back on, but I think that's got uh, I think that's got this complete. So, got a little paint on it. Yellow? No. What is it with you and that I ugly? Like yellow sticks out. Ugly. See that. Yellow. So, all right, we're gonna get that painted up. I got the rest of the front end of the Ranger apart uh, what's left of the wheel bearing as you guys can see is uh, not much there's a whole bunch of little bit of balls laying around the shop somewhere if you want to know but I think we are going to change oil in my red truck we're going to change oil in the Ranger real quick and then unfortunately we're going to be waiting on parts hopefully we'll be in tomorrow see you guys then good morning good morning I got parts I got parts and it's not technically raining, but no, it's, it's not it's raining a, at all. It's, it's this, on its way. So let's get this thing back together. The only reason I'm saying we're doing this is because you're doing it for me. So yeah, it just saves you a whole lot of steps, don't it? 
All right. Otherwise, we would not be. We got it. a new hub. We got new bolts because these bolts never come out. You've already broke my tool trying to get it off the other one this morning that we didn't video. And then uh, we're going to put this thing all back together. You excited? Well, I'm excited that I'm going to have wheels again. Yeah, you were pretty grouchy on the last job because you had to walk. Me? No, you walked all the flat and I had to walk up all the oh, hills. Oh my, let me guess, is uphill both ways? Well, pretty well. <laughs> I never had it, got to walk down the hill. Well, you should park at the top and not the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to a flat field. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> all right, we need, uh, you broke my tool. Yeah, so. Okay, we got, uh, stand by, we got to find a Torx bit. What is that, T25? I don't think this is gear wrench approved. <coughs> We're just going to snug them down. Like a beauty. Oh, yeah. All right, next on the list, new, new shiny wheel bearing. Isn't it all nice and pretty? Yes, it is. All right, so. Looks like that's going to work. I think we're going to have to use the old pressy pressy. <laughs> Shiver down in there. This one or that one? We'll go with the guaranteed. <laughs> we'll go with the guaranteed one. All right. It's kind of a goofy piece to get set up in the press, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Do a little custom shimming to get that thing to fit, or set level, I should say. Hopefully, we can get this old one on there. Put this oh. in there. Show oh, 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 look at that. Just enough room. I mean, that's what I planned for. That's what I had in mind. There she is. All right. Where she'll live for her next 3,500 miles, because that's about how long they last. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have it. All right, we gotta get our snap ring in there. And then, I think we're ready to put it all back together. All right. <laughs> so, uh, this is? No, what's that? What this is, is that? This is a Polaris Ranger wheel bearing greaser. Put that down in there. Oh. It shoves oil through that grease. And if you look in there, that race is split. It puts oil into the bearings, or grease into the bearings. Yeah, very nice. That's how you get the extra 500 miles. <laughs> uh, uh, I left my Milwaukee grease gun at home. <laughs> you didn't like that TikTok I sent you last night, did you? Just wait, just wait. Still wait. I'm gonna get that thing going. She starts to come out. Look, see, it's coming out on the outside of her right there. It. Oh yeah, I see it. I see it down in there. Hey, that nice. Slick? I like that. The slick is not. Well, whenever I need to do this to mine, I know where to bring it. Yeah. The problem is <laughs> the back wheel bearings and the front wheel bearings are two different sizes, so you gotta have. But to the good thing you got two of them. I do. I got the other one somewhere. Uh -huh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, about like everything else. Oh, there it is. All right. Good deal. Right, let's get this back in. Yep. Because you got lucky. I was hoping that. <sighs> I was really hoping it wouldn't be raining and it'd be nice all day, but it's a light rain. It's something that we could work in. <laughs> all right. Don't worry, while you're over there looking at the weather, I'm getting stuff done for you. That's good. Hmm. Look at that. Like a glove. There we go. Gotta 
second. Got a lock washer? Yeah, I don't okay. want you to be crashing into a ditch because a ball burger comes out later. Nope. Can't be having that. That goes in there. That goes in there. Tappy tappy. Like that. Uh, Houston. Oh no. What you forget? <laughs> I'm not even gonna tell you. Oh, you I know. see it. Yeah. Might want to flip that around. Where were you at on that? I was watching the camera. I worried about the weather. You put it on backwards. See, there you go. You, you try to hurry up and look what happens. Sometimes you need to be like me, patient. Patient, huh? Yeah. You're the... <laughs> I don't know if you're the definition yeah. of patience. Yeah. That's what I get told all the time. Yeah. I think my... Chainsaw over there would argue with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, me and that, um, I'm a steel kind of guy. That's yeah, that's the that's the problem. I don't think it had anything to do with the color of the chainsaw. No, I was somebody too lazy to start the chain on it. I didn't have the patience for that. <laughs> All right, that looks a little better, don't it? Yeah, I like that. That looks a lot better. I think we'd be able to steer now. Come on, get in there. Why'd you give me a carpet in here? Well, you didn't specify what you wanted, so I got you a claw hammer. Do you need a bigger hammer? No, I just need that. There you go, now I've signed up. Now you can tap down on it. You just, you just... Make sure you get a good camera shot over there. I got the rest of this. Hey, I do. This little seat, I love this little stool I got. I noticed. Hey, you're enjoying my uh, kneeling pads. Yeah, right there. Oh, went a little too... Uh... Went a little too deep. Mm. Boy, it's hitting me a too deep. Now I'm too shallow. <laughs> you need a hand? No, you just said No, I was going to say. I got this. You need a hand, you better call somebody in. All right, so now this on there. Uh, I do you know what I do need? What do you need? My impact over. Okay. All right. Yeah. We gotta remember to put that cotter pin back in there. All right. Slide the hub back in. didn't look too hard. You weren't talking to it nice enough. All right, so here's the deal. This uh, torque on this nut right here. Yeah. Is actually fairly important because that's what kind of sets that bearing in there. Uh huh. I don't know if we're gonna be able to torque it until we get the brakes on to hold it. So next step needs to be the, put next the step brakes needs on. To be the brakes, which are still in the box. Please. Oh, you need them. Let's see what we got.
Why do you have an extra bearing in case you mess that one up putting it in or something? I always keep one extra front, one extra rear because they go out all the time. Gotcha. Uh, you want to give me the rest of the brakes or you just want to give me this part of the brakes? What do you mean? Well, this is the squeezy Break squeezy, pads. but I need something to squeeze it. You got a new caliper over there. Oh. oh! I thought you had the caliper. I didn't see it over here. Oh, it was in this other box, Mark Blair's. <laughs> it's not for the cat noser. <laughs> oh. I promise you that. See my fancy flathead knife here because you didn't open this one. I was busy. Oh, man, look at that. It comes with brakes. Huh. Tell me that. So we got an extra set of brakes. That's yeah. <laughs> well. When you drive, they seem to fly off and go passing us, so we may need an extra set. All right, so that should go. Down there like so. Look at that. Boy, I'll yeah. tell you what, this thing's probably going to pull to the left with this all new set up <laughs> on here. <laughs> yeah. I think we need to hook the brake line up or it'll be fine. <laughs> You're driving it, I don't care. I'm driving it, I want that brake line <laughs> on. All right. Found out yesterday that I do need brakes. Yeah, you about took out a turkey hunter, didn't you? Yeah. Making a U-turn right in the middle of the road. Let me rephrase it. Over that. a hill. Turkey hunter about took out himself. Yeah. He Good decided brakes. to do a U-turn. You proved the importance of having operational trailer, trailer brakes. brakes at all times. Yes. We gotta reuse that piece even though it's broken. That's the mud deflector. You got another one? No. Then we're gonna reuse it. Well, we don't ever go in the mud. No, no, we don't do it. That's not that bad. No, that's Just good yet. My new damage. Keeps all the uh, rocks and debris and mud out You're of here. Getting in your actual brake pads. Brake pads. Yeah. Alright, so now. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you call bad shape right there. Line off here. Oh, you're just having the time of your life over there watching me work. I am, I love it. Then once we get this on, you gotta bleed it. Bleeding brakes brings See, back bad memories from Buff and Dump. <laughs> now I can help you. Oh, now you're going to help me do something? Yeah, you need me to push your brake pedal. It's gonna, I think it's going to bleed itself. Boy, that's coming out of there. Make sure we get down the right seat. I don't think I'm in the right spot. There. See, an amateur wouldn't have checked that. But then we crank the wheel all the way over and. Blew the brake line. Blew the brake line. Now we wait. Okay. You don't need me to roll over and push the brake pedal? No, you just stay right there. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Oh, there we go. It's done. Now, All right. what I am going to need you to do is uh, hold the brake while I torque it. Okay. Hold on. Let me roll over. Oh, see, it didn't bleed them. Got it. All right, there we go. We got brakes now. There we go. And the hose lined up. You know, it only took one arm to hold that brake rotor from spinning while you were tor torquing that. 
Get out of here. I'm getting strong. I need. Well, I guess I'm uh, getting strong. You are. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, what's the old saying? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Yeah, so keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I don't think that's where I was going with that conversation. No, because you were getting ready to say something you shouldn't say. I was getting ready to say how lucky I am to be able to work with you on a daily basis. Exactly, that is. That is very nice. Why don't you do something put this cap in there before it makes me mad? Oh. You got it, didn't yet? you? Huh? Is my what in? Your battery dead, yeah. My battery? I got the new DJI camera. The battery lasts forever. Yeah, I love it. Recording. All right. Uh, we need to go to the other side and put brakes on. All right. There was some little bitty light. <laughs> now this is more what I'm used to. I'm taking it. Reverse and removes. Yeah, that hole in them rims is not oversized. No, no at all. At all. I think twenty thousand miles. This is the only second set of brakes I put on this thing. All right, your turn. I'm <laughs> back up, huh? That wheel bearing feels pretty good. What do you think, since we're going to have the caliper off, you think go ahead and uh, grease it? Pull that yeah, uh, pull out. Pull hub out and grease it? Out. Yeah. All yeah, right. now you got that. Look nuts for the other side. All right. Oh, man, behind the scenes. I think we're officially back in business. Yeah. <laughs> it looks a little goofy hooked up like this. Yeah, it does. Ranger, full service, brakes, wheel bearings, everything's fixed. Trailer, new hitch, new drive shaft, new platform, bucket, cutting edge is fixed. Aaron got all the pins and everything welded up. I think we're uh I think we're back in business. I hope if that thing works half as good as the one we did on the tile trailer. Yeah. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah it is. And I think I think other people use my straw blower more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> it's uh for no more straw when we blow, it works uh it works pretty doggone good. That should be some nice little additions to it. Aaron got mad that I painted it uh black because nobody oh, can see it. Yellow. He's gonna hit his shit on it, so I uh put you a little orange stripe on it. Yeah. Don't worry. All right. They'll see the true colors here before too long. Like I said, guys, I ain't sponsored by Polaris, but man, that has been one good piece of equipment. It's a little three-cylinder Yamar diesel in it. Yeah. It, it don't have the power, but it just keeps going. It's like yeah. the Energizer Bunny. It's. I think it's got the power. It's just got no top end. Everybody's gonna. Nobody's gonna probably believe me. It's got twenty thousand miles on. Let's just look real quick. It's got the torque. It just don't have the horsepower. Where are we at? That is ours, 19,545. That was close. Close, yeah. Pretty close. So. All right, we got stuff to do. We are off to the next job. Next job's going to be pretty damn cool. Yeah. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. I'm excited to get there. New, different. New, different, yeah. yeah. And uh, we'll have our have our ride back. So. Yes, we will. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, big old thumbs up. Want to make sure you don't miss out on what's coming up next. I consider subscribing. We'll catch you on the next one. Come by. See you guys.